In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Moodle groupings. And the tutorial is divided up into three parts, setting up groupings, setting up differentiated activities, and then the contrast between what the teacher sees and what the students see. And if you're using groupings, first of all, you need to set up groups, which I've already done. So if we go to settings, users, and groups, here are my groups. Group one, group two, group three are groups that I've organized. And the groups with food names, fried rice, pizza, and spaghetti, these are groups where students will use group choice to register themselves. I want to use group one and group two and put that together in a grouping. We'll call that grouping X. And I want to put group three into a separate grouping. We'll call that grouping Y. And to set up the groupings is easy. Click on the groupings button create grouping we're going to call that one grouping X and we're going to create one more and call it grouping Y and to assign students to the groupings click on this button here show groups in grouping and I'm going to put group 1 and group 2 for grouping X. And for grouping Y, group 3. And that's it. The groupings are now created. So back to the Moodle site for the course. And I have two topics here, topic 6 and topic 7 and I want to make them available to different groupings. Topic six, I want to make available only to grouping X, and topic seven, I want to make available only to grouping Y. This is what I was mentioning earlier about differentiated instruction. So for topic six, let's just call that week six classwork. Imagine that some of the class stayed behind and did some classwork grouping access here I'm going to put for grouping X now for grouping Y I want to make a module that they can use for their work so let's call it week 6 fieldwork and again remember to put the grouping access I'm going to put this for group Y So now I have week six classwork for grouping X, week six fieldwork for grouping Y. These are two mod Moodle modules that I could put forums or whatever activities I wanted the students to do inside. Notice that in the teacher view, you see both of the modules. If we switch over to student view, a student from the, one of the groupings only see the week six classwork. But if I log on as a different student from a different grouping, what we see now is the week six field work. So the activities are seen differently by members of different groupings.